Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over at Cable Channel 3. And you can catch us live on the web at sandylandcenter.org or you can catch us in person live over here at the center. We are, the, we are on the south side of the square and you can come by any morning between 9 and 12 and have a good cup of coffee and inquire into our services. Talking about services, we do have services where you can have medical equipment on loan and we have a whole list of medical equipment that is here for you to borrow if you so need that or if you know of anyone who needs that, please remind them of that um, service that we offer. Well, today is Monday and it starts a new week and it is starting with some refreshing showers. Um, it's been raining quite a lot over the weekend and it continued to do so today. And that pattern of rain is all over the Midwest. Um, seems like from Nebraska, Missouri and Kansas, there's heavy rain. These widespread um, showers and thunderstorms are generated by uh, upper level disturbances and they bring with them heavy downpours and that could produce um, one, to th one to three inches of rain especially in some parts of Kansas and I'm being told that in parts of Barton County there's flooding <clears throat> and that is something to watch out for um, flash flooding with, the, with rains it is unseasonably cool for this time of the year. Um, July, right in the middle, midst of the summer, uh, it is quite cool. And right across the region, we have highs mostly in the 70 to 80 degrees. <clears throat> and the lows this morning was right down at 53 degrees this morning. And um, so as you go out with these rains, do be careful of the flash flooding. Over the next six hours, it will be, it will be mostly cloudy with temperatures today uh, in the low to middle 80s. With the winds are, it's coming from the south, southeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. But right now in the square, it's uh, cloudy. It's 71 degrees and a 78% humidity. The high today could be uh, as high as 86 this afternoon with 80% humidity and some more thunderstorms developing in the afternoon and some of these thunderstorms could be quite severe in places. Tonight's low will be at 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, heavy thunderstorms this evening, 80% chance of some more rain and 1 to 2 inches of rains is expected. Of course, that will bring high humidities in the 95%. Tuesday, the showers uh, are expected, and with possibly more thunderstorms. Uh, and they, in the morning, the thunderstorms will give way to partly cloudy skies. And again, a lot of humidity, 92%, with the highs right at 89 degrees Fahrenheit and the lows at 68. Wednesday we could see a similar pattern with the highs at 89 and the lows at 71. Partly cloudy with showers in the morning. I am sure the farmers are enjoying the, the rain. It's good for the crops. Uh, in our community this today we want to wish Esther Staub, a happy birthday. Esther, happy birthday, and we hope you enjoy your birthday and have several more. So if you see Esther, do wish her a happy birthday. And tomorrow, if you have not called over at the Sunflower Senior Center, they are having a trip to Dodge City Casino. Uh, the trip will leave at 8 a.m. in the morning and they should be back in town between 3 and 4 
uh, and it's only ten dollars to go on this trip so if you want to go out and enjoy whatever the casino has to offer please call over at the center and um, get ready for the trip tomorrow at eight o'clock only ten dollars for that and on August the 10th, do mark your calendars. This is an urgent call by the Red Cross. They're um, hosting a blood drive over at the, the lodge on 700 East 1st. They were there from 11 o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And all blood types are required. If you can give blood or if you don't know your blood type, come on over and they will test your blood type for you. And hopefully you, could, you should be able to donate some blood. They are in need of blood because um, the donors have been fewer over the past several months and their supplies have dwindled and they're quite low. So please, please mark your calendars for August the 9th at the IOF gym from 11 to 4 p.m. All blood types are required. And I have here a long list of things that the food bank needs. And uh, if you're clearing out your cupboards, or indeed go purchase some for the food bank, it needs dried beans, peanut butter, saltine crackers, cereals of all kinds, Kleenex, cake mixes, um, Manischewitz sauces, any canned meat, and all canned meat, tuna, fish, or salmon. So please, if you have the wherewithal, donate to the food bank, and you can drop them off right here at the at the center. Today starts a new menu over at the Maxwell Center, the Maxwell Senior Center, and today. They're serving um, meatloaf, all gratin potatoes, um, green beans, and a citrus fruit cup. And tomorrow, look forward to oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, asparagus with rolls, and a pudding, and uh, fruit gelatin. And on Wednesday, they have a beer rock casserole peas, carrots, bread, and a creamy fruit salad. Sounds very good. And over at the Sunflower Center, today they also have a meat loaf, some baked potatoes, beets, very healthy, a cabbage salad, apricots, and tomorrow you can look forward to some Swiss steak, potatoes, corn, a pear jello and cherry surprise and on Wednesday oven fried chicken mashed potatoes peas a tossed salad and a banana delight and or thought for the day forget what the world owes you and concentrate on what you owe the world Forget what the old what the world owes you and concentrate on what you owe the world. And with that disregard what you have done for your friends and remember what they have done for you. Enjoy the cool weather and happy afternoon. <laughs>